Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part four of our supply ship build. Last episode, we built this nuclear engine room. Yeah, <laughs> we have four turbines, eight generators, and I'm hoping that is all enough to power this um, large ship because I have not built one of these before, so I have no idea if it will work or not, but let's hope it does. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today we're going to be working on the top of the boat. Um, we're going to start by putting some little pieces that we can walk out on to look at the front and the back of the ship so we can see how close to docks and that we are. And then after we've done that, we're going to start building the interior, put a bit of a dash in and tidy it up a little bit, you know? <laughs> so let's get stuck straight into it. Alrighty guys, so let's begin by building the little pieces that we're going to walk out on the side. So we might, uh, we'll break in right here, I reckon. Get rid of all this, make ourselves a little bit of room. That, that, and all of these. Perfect, so we'll bring this up to about there. And then what we'll do is we'll come out, maybe we'll come out, oh, we'll come out three. We go like, oopsie, like that. Is that enough? <laughs> maybe we'll just take one off that. So we need to be able to see something behind us if we can. We might have to add that back on. I don't want to come out too wide though and have it look funny, that's all. So maybe we'll just go along here. Uh, we'll go wedges. We'll put these on upside down there. Like so. That, that should be okay. And then we'll do the same thing along here. All the way down. And in there, we'll put an inverse pyramid, I think. That will fit. We'll go like that. Yeah, that will do. Perfect. And then we'll put some of these in. Like... That and we'll do the exact same over here. Uh, we'll put that there and then we'll put some upside down wedges on here, like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And then what we'll do, we'll get some windows. So we should probably grab the one by threes. Is that what we need? No, three by ones. Where are the other ones? Uh, this one? Yeah, that's what we want. So they can go like that and like that. Perfect, and we'll do the same thing over here. Boop, boop, nice. Um, so now we need some two by threes. We'll put them in this area, come up and up, nice. And we could go three and three. So we'll get some of these. No, we'll use the two by three still. Uh, we'll go like that, like that, and like that. That should be fine. Um, we'll put some blocks in on this spot here. Maybe we could go some wedges, perhaps. We went like that. Yes, and we can turn that one. That can go. Oh, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> uh, actually, what we could do if we build that piece up, and then we can just go like this, and then fill in that with these. So like so. Boop, boop. Nice, perfect. Uh, we'll fill that in there. All right, that is looking okay. Hopefully, does that look all right? It should do. Um. Hmm, we might go small windows on the top. This is going to be fairly tall, actually. I don't know if it's going to be this tall or not. Eh, that would have to do. And then we'll do the same thing on these spots. Boom, and boom. And what do we grab before? The 1x3s. Now we need a 1x2. Two. 2x1. Two Can we grab one of them? Is that what we want? Nope. <laughs> uh, this one. Yes, that is correct. So they can come up like so. And we'll do the same thing right there. Yep, that's perfect. Now, we should probably put in some windows at the back of it. Um, so we might go the same as we did the front. So we go boom, 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 and some more of these. That is very tall, probably too tall. Hmm, it might look all right once we paint it black though, the, the glass anyway, we'll see how it goes. Then we'll go some wedges. Now, I'm not sure, we might angle out two if we come like this. We could probably go like that, it would be fine. Oh, actually we'll bring it over here, that'd be better. Should we? Oh. oh, this is so difficult, man. Actually, we'll just use the one wedges because then it'll angle up. It will fit with the angle on here, there, and there. We might have to do that. That's all right. We'll go like this and we'll plug that in there and let's turn that around. Ooh like that. That should be fine. Um, so we got one, two, three, four. So if we go some upside down wedges on... No, that won't work. We'll put these in first. Boom, boom. And then we've got all the way along to about there. So we'll delete that and we'll put one of these in, I guess. Is that what's gonna have to go here? Yeah, we can go like that and then just fill in that with a block. We might have to do that. That's fine. Um, that sort of works as well on the inside, so that might be all right. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll grab one of these and we'll put one here as well. Boop. And, oh, that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> Uh, we might bring that back one more, so like that, 
and then we'll put another angle in here turn it around and boop, perfect awesome right now we need some more wedges uh how are we going to do this so if we come up hmm can we angle that like so we could probably do that bring that oopsie all the way up yeah no i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that one bit so we'll come up like so yeah and then we might put the wedge what the heck <laughs> We'll put one of these in. We'll put a wedge in upside down there. That's okay. Hmm. Maybe we could put some wedges in like this instead. Yeah. We go like that, and we could put a larger wedge in there, perhaps. We could go like that. That's probably fine. Then we have to work out how to fill that bit in properly, though. That's all. Cause yeah, that looks a bit funny. Maybe we could use some of these actually. If we go in like this. Yeah, and then maybe a two by four we could fill in here. But that's probably all right, actually. That's probably fine. All right, we'll go with that. Um, so what can we do? One, two. We'll put some upside down wedges on this area. Uh, this one, we <laughs> like that. That's okay. That's plenty of room to look out anyway. And we can sort of, oh, probably just can't see down there, but that we can see enough. It should be fine. We'll have cameras on this thing anyway. So let's um paint this up with the windows black so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like so we paint all of this all of these and that is yeah do both sides thank goodness all of that and perfect that one there too okay and we'll paint the rest of it yellow like the rest of the boats boop, boop. and all of that 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 and this perfect that's just about all of it and that and that okay how's that looking i think it's all right Practically though, they could stick out a bit further, but I don't think they look very good from here <laughs> from like looking at it. So we won't do that. We'll just leave it like so. But that's all right. That's pretty practical for inside at least. Um, so we could probably fill that in and just maybe have that go like that. Put some wedges along there or something. That'd be right. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is a build inside of here. So I might leave the helm right in the middle. I was thinking we could probably put it on the side. Hmm. It might be more practical on the side, actually. We'll leave it there for now and see what it looks like when we're done. Uh, so what we got? We've got angles coming up there. So we can't put any more windows in here because I was at Rex that. So we'll have to leave it. But um, let's let's just pretend it's all right. <laughs> let's hope it's all right anyway. Uh, we'll get some wedges. What are we going to do? We maybe put some of these along here. Let's make it look like the bench comes on a bit of an angle with the rest of the boat. We go like this and we'll fill that in. That's okay. All right, nice. And we'll do the same thing with this. We'll bring these all up, all the way along like that. And then obviously we'll fill that in like so. Actually guys, we're gonna get rid of some of this because I'd like to have it slightly closer to the helm. Uh, oh, even like that. That's pretty good. We could go like this and bring that up and come across like that. That way we have a bit of room to have the maps right next to our where we stand, which should be really good. So. We have a little map right here that can pop out the dash. So if we put a uh, pivot in, one of these. Oh, robotic pivot, one of this. Perfect. And get rid of that. And this. And what we'll do is we'll connect a block to that for a moment. Get rid of all that. Uh, we'll go monitor. And a 3x3 three three. should be fine. And we'll connect that up like so. Have a little map on it, which I think is pretty good. We'll get rid of that. And we'll fill that in as normal. That is fine. So that will pop up and we'll have our GPS map on there. So we won't do that just yet, actually. Um, up here, we'll have some displays. Whoopsie, display. And we'll go, we'll have, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> we'll go speed. Um, now, also, I have these um, sensors and stuff, little microcontrollers. So a C depth monitor, that will go straight to a display. That is by Zyzo, by the way. So you can look him up on the workshop and he has plenty of controllers. Um, we might chuck this, we'll make like a, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll use that same microcontroller room that we've already got. We'll use that down here. Uh, we'll plug that right there. So what do we need for that? Distance, a distance sensor. Oh yeah, right, right. I think just that one would be just right. So if we chuck that on the bottom of the boat, somewhere in the middle, uh, where is the middle? Right there. And we just drop that right there, may as well. <laughs> oh, that doesn't fit. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have to move the boat up. Can we? Oh, like one block. That's all right. Uh, we'll drop that right there. Perfect. We'll just paint that while we're here. And the gray color. 
and that doesn't affect anything inside, which is nice. So we've got the distance sensor. It goes to there, and then we need GPS, uh, GPS sensor, and we'll put that in here as well, right there. And that can plug on to this GPS Y and GPS X, and then that will go to a monitor. All right, so we will have that. Hmm, we're about sitting up here somewhere. If we have it sitting right here, perhaps that'll be all right. So if we can put a little pivot under there, will that be in the way? That should be all right. Oh, that is in the way of the helm, though, isn't it? Hmm, actually, what we'll do then, we'll put it under here. So we go pivot. Go robotic pivot and chuck it down in there. Perfect. We'll get rid of that. There and monitor. Uh, monitor. We'll go a two by two, just like this. That should be enough. Boop. Perfect. Um, so we can actually get rid of a lot of this now. <laughs> uh, that can go as well. That second block that we placed down. Oh, that can go in there as its place. Oh, that's not right. That's not what we want at all. What am I doing? I need to get rid of that. Go back to the monitor. It's got to plug onto this one. Boom, that is better. Perfect. Um, that can be replaced like that. Perfect, so that will pop up and we should be able to see that from just here, which is great. Um, so we've got a constant number for both of these. Um, we'll chuck it down in the engine in the controller room, I suppose. May as well put majority of it in there so we can repair it. Um, so what number do they need to be? So that can be at a positive number and that one as well. So we can go, hmm. Let's go with, where is it? Where is it? Hello? In here. Right there. If we go 0 0.5, we'll see how that goes. Um, data. This one. Bring that all the way up to both of these. Boop, boop. Nice. Perfect. And what we need next is, wait, we're going to have a radar system in this as well. Um, marine radar. Is that what we want? I think so. So we'll chuck that down here. Oop, where are we? In here. Oh, that's a big controller, isn't it? Chuck that right there. So what do we need for that? Radar rotation, GPS Y. We can use the same GPS, which is good. GPS Y, GPS X, uh, the speed. Speed. Is that a speed sensor? Is that what it means? Or is it something else? Yeah, it should be. Um, linear speed sensor. We'll chuck that up on our mask that we have. So if we maybe put that right here, we'll go like yellow and stand it up like that that's fine that's what the master's for so we'll connect that down to here and boop perfect uh so that's the gps a compass compass sensor and we'll make that white and we'll put that in here as well maybe we'll just chuck it there should be fine and compass there and what else we got speed they're all hooked up the radar on or off hmm that we'll do that after uh, now we need an actual radar, so let's go up the top first. What can we fit up here? How big is that? Whoa! Oh, yuck! <laughs> uh, this is... Oh, no. Uh, just this one, I suppose. we put it there. That's pretty small. That's all right. We could use that. So active. So that needs to turn on the radar. So radar rotation can head straight down to here. That's what it wants us to do. Uh, has a video output for both of them as well as a composite. So we might have a separate seat for that up in here. Um, if we go seat, should we put a compact pilot seat in? We could. We might have like two little control stations over here. One can have um, weapons on it and the other can do navigation. So if we go like this, five blocks of each one, bring them back a few and that can be perfect. And we'll put some wedges on those along like that what we'll do is we'll build this up oh, a few blocks like so did i make that double i did <laughs> come up to about there um hmm and then what we could do we could put some wedges on those block them off perfect and perfect very nice all right so now we'll go some seats pilot seats like that that's a bit high isn't it well we've moved them back a couple like that Hmm, maybe we can have this all angle back. Maybe we'll get rid of that and that. And we'll put a pivot in the ground right here. Pivot. Some more of these, uh, like so. Yeah, and then that can be a whole separate bit. That should be fine. Like that, and that can just angle back. Nice, so we go like that. 
and then we'll put some wedges on. That looks a bit better than before, doesn't it? Like that, and like that. Perfect, so one can be weapons, one can be radar. That's fine. Oh no, we should have the radar on the same one, shouldn't we? Maybe one can do something else. We'll see how we go anyway. Um, so each of these can have a display monitor. Uh, two by three in this one. We'll leave just this one for now, because this is the one we're working on. Um, so we need a toggle button, but maybe we could just have the controls on the seat. That should be fine, actually. Uh, should we put some little wedges on here as well to cover that up? Probably should. We went along like that. That's probably fine, just like so. Hopefully it doesn't clip on anything, that's all. But um, we'll see how we go. Um, so video, that one can always be on this screen. Like that, perfect. And composite, data read to the radar target detector. Does that go to the radar? Yep, perfect. And the other one goes to the seat. The touch input, I don't think anything comes off that, that I know of. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, so the video's all hooked up, the radar's all hooked up, that should be fine. Now to turn the radar on, we'll have it on button one. So radar on, toggle on button one. Uh, so we'll go back to this, button one, turn, turn that on and activate the radar. Perfect. And we'll also paint the radar, maybe we could paint it, what other color we got? This gray, we paint the gray? Yeah, can you paint that top bit as well? No, that's it, <laughs> fair enough. All right, um, what is next? We might give those seats a quick paint as well. We go orange for both of them, and we get a bit of orange on the helm here. Maybe just that little display box like that. That's looking all right. Um, might, we might quickly paint around the dash as well. So if we put that gray around the bottom, I think it looks pretty nice up to about there. Uh, we haven't done anything down there yet, so we'll just maybe end that right there. That should be fine. Uh, next, we need a function block to convert the speed over. So this is speed. Um, and we need a function so we can turn it into kilometers an hour because that is all I know. <laughs> uh, we haven't been doing the same in this side, have we? Oh, one thing. That's all right. We'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll go here, pop that down like that, and that can go to the output. That goes to the display up there. And the bottom one goes to the speed sensor, which is that one. Yep. Okay. Then we need to change the calculation in that to X times 3.6 that converts it to kilometers an hour so that is perfect all right guys so next we could probably have a few dials here um display we'll get some of these instrument panel oh why don't i make such a big gap <laughs> it takes up one block uh we could go here for now whoop, whoop. perfect so we'll have um what we do reactor temp so we can keep an eye on it from up here and then we go boiler temp and battery or gen output and then we need um our pressure so does that come from the boiler and then we'll change all of those so reactor temp zero we'll have it a maximum i think we had 300 the boiler temp can be a maximum of 300 as well 300 perfect and then that is on number two the gen output can have a maximum of a thousand i guess i don't really know what it will be at just yet and we have boiler pressure, that is a maximum of 10, otherwise it explodes, so that is not great. So we have it just like that. So we always have to go down in the engine room to turn on this boat, which is a bit of a mission, but it is pretty cool. I like it. All right, so we have a new map. We're gonna use this one right here. We'll chuck that in the bottom where all the other ones are. We'll go right there. Uh, what have we got? Monitor on and off, monitor brightness. Vehicle position X, so we'll chuck that right there. And Y. And then we have monitor brightness. So we have to hook up some sort of keyboard to that maybe, perhaps? I'm not sure. Monitor on and off, that will turn on and off with the electronics in the ship. We have touch input, so we'll connect that up to the monitor. That will be on this one here. And then obviously we're gonna need some video inputs. So that will come straight from there up to here. Perfect. Um, now, we need some sort of button to turn on all the electronics. So if we put that right here, tilt that up, whoop like so perfect um so electronics yep just like that that will be a, a flip switch on number one uh, and then we'll save these for other things as we add them um, we're gonna need lights in here as well at some point soon but we'll leave it for now 
All right, since we have nothing for this one here, we're going to get rid of that just for now. But we'll probably end up adding it back. But I just would like to tidy up inside here for now because I would like to add things as we need them, not just sort of add everything at once and kind of not know what's going on. So we'll just go like this. Oh, we didn't do them both sides, did we? Ha! Um, so we go like that all the way along there. Perfect. That looks tidy as. All right, so we've got this um, little balcony here that we may as well do something with. Um, I think we might just get rid of it. I don't think we need it. <laughs> and we'll open up the cabin a bit more. And if we get rid of them as well, and we could bring that back, fill that in, except I just don't know what we're going to use this little area for, because it's pretty pointless, isn't it? Look, if we just leave it open for now, that will remind us to do something with it at least. Oh, what's that? Is that anything? Oh, well, that's going to be filled in, doesn't it? Like that. So we can get rid of these now. Yes. On both sides. Nice. So yeah, we have that little spot there. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but we'll, we'll work something out. Um, maybe it can house a camera and some lights and stuff to shine over the back. That might be all right, but um, we'll see how we go. So we could probably just fill that in like that. Yes, and we'll put some portholes on so we can see what we're doing inside and outside. Um, so if we go window here and a window here, boop, like that. And then maybe a couple standing up in the back here, like that and like that. That should be fine. So we go porthole. And we've got to put some stairs in here as well so we can get up and down. Uh, like that and like that. Perfect. And we'll do the same thing over here. Give some more. Boom. And boom. Very nice. So now we need to do something of this area. So if we put some wedges in maybe. Uh, like that. And like that. We could probably just fill that in. That's probably fine. Yeah, that's all right. Doesn't matter. Um, now we'll give that a quick paint. I don't think that will be yellow in here though. But we'll see how we go. All right, so we're going to need a way to get down into this garage from up here, don't we? So, um, that's going to be a big staircase coming down, isn't it? We might have to do that, though, unless we have, like, another floor. We could have another floor along here, couldn't we? We could do that, because we don't need the garage to be too tall. So, we could put another floor in right here. That should be all right. So, if we go along like that. All right, so now we have this room here, which I don't know what we're going to do with, but um, we'll put some portholes in. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just go about here. Yeah, there'll be another window. Or should we line up with that one if we can? Something like that. Whoops. Boop. Like that. Perfect. So we'll put these in like that. Turn that around. All right, so now we need a way to actually get up here. So we're going to have to put some steps in somewhere. Uh, steps. Uh, maybe straight when you walk in these doors, you can come up. If we have it maybe here, that'd be all right. And then there's still a way. Oh, because the door's going to open up. We might bring it back a few more. Maybe to there. Door opens up. Hmm. Unless we put the doors on around the other way. We could do that, actually. Uh, like this. That opens in. Yeah, we could do that. And then we could start the steps a bit closer, maybe. To about there. We'll go there. And then we'll start coming up. So uh, you can still probably get around them without going into the vehicle. Oh, no, it's a bit tight, isn't it? We'll just keep going with this. I don't know what else we can do with that area. Actually, yeah, we'll just keep coming up for now. All the way to about here, a few more, maybe two more, boop, and then we'll have to open up a little spot because otherwise we're going to hit our heads on that. <laughs> we can't, can't do that obviously, so we'll go about here, then we'll put a little platform in, like one, two, three, four, and then what we'll do, hmm, we'll just put some more stairs off this bit. So if we go like that, that should be fine, and then we'll just keep coming all the way up in like that. Perfect, get rid of that, boop, boop, and we'll put some stair tops on up here like that perfect cross there and we need another stair top over this spot um like this beautiful perfect um we'll put some wedges on under there get rid of that upside down Boop. perfect very nice so you walk up there i have to make a little bit more room up here so like that only three wide though like so maybe a bit more yep and we'll go wedges Put them in here so we don't bump our noggins. <laughs> yep, like that. That should be fine. So that is plenty of room to walk up and come around and get in, hopefully. That should be fine. So now we'll put some rails on. And then... Oh, wait. We'll go like this. Oh, that window's going to be in the way. So we'll get rid of them. Bye-bye. <laughs> get rid of that for now. Um, some more of these corners. Boop. And we need some end. Oh, middle as well, don't we? Oh, that's not going to fit there, is it? It's going to be not in the middle. Uh, well, maybe we'll just go across. Anyway, don't worry about a pole. <laughs> get 
dodgy dodgy we go like that and we go to there and that will be an end piece and then we'll come along to there and that will also be an end piece end piece there perfect turn that around boop and boop very nice so we have a way to get up and down on each side which is pretty cool now we're going to need some rails on here because this is very dodgy <laughs> uh so end incline can start right here on both sides perfect and then we have to fill in this bit maybe if we go like that like we did on the bottom with the reactor room that should be fine oh yeah we'll just do it like that and get some wedges and go like this Boop. perfect so they don't need to be there anymore they can actually go along here now like that awesome that's really nice little stair box now we'll put some rails on this side um we are gonna have to do the same thing here uh so that can come up and we'll place that with a block boop 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 and just fill that bit in like that. And the rest will just be rails. So, segment incline is what we need next. And we'll come up like that. So, what's that? One, two, three, one, two, three, one there. And one, two, three, one there. That should be just fine. Perfect. Incline extension. Um, but we need some of these all the way up. So, we have something to sit them on. And boop, boop, boop. And boop. Okay. So, segment extension incline. That's what we need. Turn them around. Boing, 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 all the way up to the top. Now, can we fit one right here? No, we can't. Okay, so if we just put an end piece on there. One of these, that one there. Turn that around. Oh, not like that, <laughs> like that. That should be fine. It don't matter, get rid of all these now. And we can replace that with some little wedges, like that, and wedge. And we'll bring this all the way up, like so. That is perfect. That can go upside down. Hold that. Very nice. They can get all the way up now. Um, we should probably put some sort of support looking thing on here because <laughs> it doesn't look very good. So maybe we could just go like this, uh, like that and like that. So it looks like it's actually held on by something. Should be all right. Perfect. Very nice. That's not even in the way of the garage door either, which is great. That's really good. So then you come up here, you have your rails. Um, I would like some windows in here still, but they're not going to line up with up there, are they? Hmm. Maybe we can just put like a little one in, like that. Little portal. And boop. Perfect. <laughs> That's fine. I, I just really want to put some windows on, but anyway. Go like that. Paint all this. That's the same color. Very cool. And the back of this as well. Boop. And all of them. Nice. That looks pretty good. Uh, we paint the doors. Yes, and I missed these little spots, I noticed. So that and that. Okay, so the next part of this we have to do is actually come up into the control room itself, the bridge. Um, so how do we want to do that? We could come up some stairs here. So if we open up maybe this area. Oh, oh, we have all that too. Err. Right. Okay, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Go like that. Hmm, what are we going to do with this area? I think we might put the balcony back there. We may as well. Okay, it's just pointless otherwise. So then, at least it's going to have something there. Yeah, we'll just do that, and then the wall can just be along here. So we'll get rid of these, fill that in again, <laughs> and we'll put a balcony in there, as it was before. But it will be up, up higher this time, which is fine. Um, so if we come up, then you can walk through the middle to the balcony, maybe. We can go like that. Perfect. And then we'll have some steps. Uh, step, go like this, uh, so they can come up like so, three, four, five, we go up to about there maybe, yep, perfect, leave a three gap, like so, and then we'll put some more of these on, and come all the way up to the top, boop, and boop, very nice, so we need a stair top on there actually, up like so, three, boop, boop, nice, and a stair top on this one too, turn that around like that. Boop, oopsie, boop, and some more wedges. Turn them upside down like that. And we'll put some more rails on all of this. Uh, that can be filled in again. That only needs three wide. Okay, uh, we'll go rail. We'll do the top ones first. So we got a corner right there and one right there. That should be enough room. That should be plenty of room. Then through the middle here, you can walk out a door, but we'll do that after. I'll just make the hole there now. Perfect. Um, we need end pieces. Uh, this one here. Mm, perfect. And some of these extensions. Very nice. Along to there. And that is not right. <laughs> Go along like that. How many of these can we fit in? 
three, four, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, just can't fit a middle piece in. Oh, we'll just have it like that. It don't matter. And we turn them like that. Perfect. And then we'll have a doorway right there. But we'll put these in first. Um, so the incline end. Turn that around. Perfect. We're not going to have much up here, are we? Hmm, that isn't an end. That's an <laughs> extension. Uh, we'll put that there. Have an end piece like that. Boop. And put some pieces in here, here, and... Hmm. Where is that going to go? So we have to put a end piece on, don't we? Or should we just have it come straight to a block? That'd probably be fine. Yeah, if that will fit, we'll see. Uh, extension incline. Turn that around like that, like that, and that is going to be all for that bit. All right, that's fine. So if we put some wedges on there now, turn that around, and then we can go up. Yeah, something like this. I have to make it look a bit better though. Up to there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I just have to go like that. That's probably fine, you know. It's all right. So you come up and then you're up on this level, which is perfect. So we'll put a door on here now. Uh, we'll put a sliding door for lock on it. Be fine. Get rid of this. And we'll turn that around. Like that. Awesome. And bring that up. Nice. So that is not in the middle. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Uh, let's grab a door. This one, make some room, turn that around like that. That is what we want. Right there, perfect. Except it's not out far enough. Come on, man, do it properly. <laughs> is that what we want? Is that correct now? Yes, that is exactly in the middle. Nice, block that in and paint it and paint that and that on that side too. And then we'll put some rails back on here. So this is a, a fairly pointless area, but I've got to use it up. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, should we use this color? We may as well do it properly now. Segment, should we have just a couple like this? That'd be right. Okay, we'll go like that. And then we'll fill that in with some of these. Boop! Awesome, that's looking okay. Um, we should probably put some windows in here as well. Like that. Boop! And we'll put some of these big ones in like so. Very nice. Bit of light coming in here, which is great. Now. I would like to put in some sort of um, solar lights. I think that'd be pretty cool. So we'll have some, hmm, maybe one right above where the captain sits. So we might open up this area just for a minute. Oh, that's way too much. So kind of like right there, isn't it? Yeah, we could go there. That's probably fine. Yep, cool. Actually, we won't use portholes. We might put some actual windows in. Window, go some three by threes. So we turn that like this and we're coming out another couple. And then all around that, we'll have some wedges, which would be pretty nice. Try and let a bit of light in. Wedge. And we'll turn these all around like that. On the side. And on the back piece. We Along like that. Then we're going to need some of these. So we go... Boop. And... Boop. No. <laughs> uh, we'll try that again. Yes, perfect. So there's a bit of natural light coming in. That's really nice. Um, so I might copy this little area. So we're going to use this in a few spots over there. That's that. So we'll copy that and we'll paste a few of these in around. So I might have one. Whereabouts are we? We'll come close to where this is. So I can't really come too much over too much more. Could go there, I suppose. Yeah. We could go there. We'll paste that. And we'll do the same thing over here. And boop. Paste. And we'll merge them all together. Perfect, that lets a bit more light in. That's really nice. That's perfect. Very good. And we'll put a couple more behind it as well, just to keep the light coming in. So we can probably just go, you know, here and yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Paste that and that. Nice. Let's have a look how much light we got. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Perfect. Maybe these seats we could move over a bit more so they're in the middle. Uh, we could. We might just leave it for now. See how we go. Um, let's... Oh, I don't know what color we're going to paint all this, though. That's all. Okay, well, let's start by painting the rails. So, we might just go with this green that we got there. And we'll go green for all the interior rails as well. All the way along. And boop. Nice. Got it. And along there. Paint that back to yellow. Green. And these are all green as well. <laughs> oh, man. Painting rails isn't the easiest job in the world, is it? 
And, oh, we've got more. Heaps more. Ah, I might come and paint all these rails and I'll be back in a moment. All right, that's all of that painted. Let's um, get some of the interior of this done. So we'll go gray all the way around this level. All the way along. Yep, didn't miss it. And perfect. And we come all the way along there and to there on that bit too. Perfect. And we might do the same thing along the top as well to kind of break up the colors a little bit more. Let's go along like that. Boop. Perfect. And all the way along here. Um, and then I suppose we'll just come down that angle like that. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. And we go along there and all along the front like that. Awesome. Now, under here can be the same color as the roof. That's very nice. That can be the same color as the roof. And the walls of inside the actual ship. Hmm. Have we done any other colors anywhere else? Like the engine room or anything? We just did yellow. Uh, what about this blue? What can we do with that? Having the engine room. If you go blue, that looks pretty good. Yeah, all right, we'll keep going. Go all the way around, so that's all blue. Um, the dash is going to be different because I would like that to be a dark red, I think. So we'll just end it right there. Stop it there. Uh, we'll paint these windows too while we're at it. Boom, boom. And the door, perfect. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll paint all these as well. That could be all right. Just so that all kind of matches the rest of it. Awesome, so I ended up changing them to grey instead and then I painted those little bits the same colour as the rest of the roof. Um, so this dash, we're going to go with this dark red because I really like it. Uh, oh, that is very dark, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I will leave it for now, hopefully it turns out okay. Oh, that is super dark. Can we lighten that up slightly? Like that instead? That might be a bit better, we'll change all that. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Add that to the colour list, which place that colour there. Awesome. Uh, is there any more of that to paint? We need, oh, so this monitor's end up a different color too. Uh, we'll fix that up after I worry about it another time. Go like that, and those displays. Perfect, very nice. Uh, so the outside of this, we'd like to have this as yellow, but that will change that, won't it? Oh, might just have to leave that then. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so we have this bit here, we need to paint back to yellow. And these walls, hmm. We'll just leave them as yellow, I guess. Outside can all be this green color. On the oh no, it's got the rails. Now we'll have to leave it. We'll have to leave that bit. All right, the last thing, guys, we're going to do is put some lights in. So we we'll go lights. We we'll grab some of these. Um, now, how about how do we want this? We just go here and here. Yes, and one in the middle of those, and one at the back there. And then we could probably put some in the middle of all these. We go like that, like that. And just one here, I guess. <laughs> we'll fill all these in with some lights. Boom, boom. Oh, pop, pop, and pop, pop, and pop. Awesome. So there's a bunch of lights. We missed one. There we go. Perfect. Paint all these back to yellow before we forget, like that. Very good. So that is all the lights put in. Uh, speaking of lights, we should probably put the uh, navigation lights on as well. So we might bring out another one of these. We go down here a little bit. Um, we go to there. Can we go like that? Yeah, get rid of these. Actually, hmm. If we put blocks along there, can we make them link up? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's probably fine, actually. We'll go like that. And we'll put some nav lights on. So lights. And we'll go like this. Boop. Perfect, and we'll paint them different colors. So we'll go paint this piece. Um, and what color is what? I think that color is red, and this color is green. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's correct. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway, that'd be right. Um, very nice. That is looking very cool. So we'll put um, a bit of a button thing going on in here. So we'll grab some of these. We'll go back to white. Um, might have these sitting over here because I don't need to be played with all the time. So we'll chuck them down here. Whee! like that, and we'll have interior lights, like that, and that can be on a button, toggle button on number one, and then we can have uh, nav lights, like so, perfect. Have that on a button, toggle on number two. All right, very cool. All right, we'll do a little bit more painting before we forget. Uh, we've got to paint around these, I'll change that back to a brush, and we need to grab that gray, <laughs> all the way around like that, and we didn't do it on both sides, very good. Or like so, perfect, and along here, and do along there I suppose as well. Um, now the floor color, have we got floor colors going? 
had a color in here, didn't we? No, no color in here either. So we'll just do this then, I guess. We go like that in there as well. And then we'll come up to here and do floor color like that inside. Very good. And we go on top of these as well. Kind of matches. Very nice. Um, these pieces can all be blue. Nice and blue. Match the rest of the boat. Yep, perfect. Nice. Very good. Um, can we paint? No, we can't. <laughs> Under there as well. Bucket tip that. That should be fine. Boom, boom. And then if we go bucket tip like that. That should have fixed that problem. I guess we'll find out. Awesome. All right, and to finish off for today, we might just paint the top of these, all these lights that are hanging into the cab here. So get color there and there. That one and this one. Any more? Yep, there, there, and there. I think that's all of it. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, so next episode, what we might do is we might um, keep going on our way down. We might turn this into some sort of medical room, I think. I'm not too sure. I think that's what we might do unless we make the medical room down here come down one more level. We'll work it out though and we'll build some more interior and yeah because we need to put some rooms in to start filling this thing in so we can get it started because right now we can't get to the engine room so we need to make all the rooms and stuff to get down there but yeah that's what we'll do next episode so i'd like to thank you all very much for watching today and i'll see you all in the next one